1968 is already known as a marquee year in Ohio football history. The Bobcats went undefeated in the regular season, won a MAC championship, went to a bowl game, and finished 20th in the AP poll. But the Bobcats almost had a hiccup late in the year, a hiccup that could have shaken up the way that 1968 ended. It was week eight and the finale of conference play for Ohio and Bowling Green. The Bobcats were 5-0 in MAC play and they were visiting a cold and snowy Bowling Green Falcons club who was 3-1-1 in conference play. Ohio was coming off a comfort behind win against Western Michigan and BG had dominated Marshall the week before. The Bobcats had found themselves trailing 27-14 with just five minutes left to play in the game. It was the largest deficit Ohio had faced all year, and with five minutes left in the game, a comeback seemed nearly insurmountable. Not for Bill Hess and company. The green and white marched 80 yards in 12th place to set up a Bob Homard touchdown at the goal line to cut BG's lead to 27 to 21 with just four minutes and 19 seconds left. Next, Coach Hess decided to risk it all. He called for an onside kick, and Ohio's Bruce Herdman recovered. Ohio had a chance to take the lead and keep the perfect season alive, and they did. Quarterback Cleve Bryant sliced through the Falcon defense for 48 yards to tie the game up at 27, and the PAT by Bill Pataki was a success. Ohio had a one-point edge, 28-27. However, Bowling Green still had a chance to regain the lead with three minutes and 50 seconds left, but on their next offensive series, BG coughed up the football. Ohio's Greg McKenzie recovered on the Bowling Green 21, and that was all she wrote from Bowling Green. Ohio finished MAC play 6-0 and became the first MAC team to ever go unbeaten through its league schedule.